How cool would it be to design something in 3D and then see it in real life or even wear it? Well, let's go and do just that. In this video, I'll show you how to create a shirt in Blender, give it a cool design and how to wear it yourself with the magic of AR in Lens Studio. Stick around till the end to learn more about a small challenge I'll be hosting nice. around this tutorial. Let's begin by creating a shirt model in Blender for which we'll be using a base body mesh provided by Lens Studio. In this way, we can ensure that the shirt model will work and look good inside of Lens Studio when we try to wear it. I've put a link in the description where you can download the free body meshes, which come in two types, T-Pose and A-Pose. Since the A-Pose tends to give better results for clothes, Let's go ahead and use that for our shirt. The base mesh is an FBX file, so open up a project in Blender and import the FBX mesh. Creating the shirt itself is actually really simple. I decided to join the body and head meshes just to make it a little bit easier to extend the shirt in the neck. So let's begin by selecting the body mesh and going into edit mode with tab. Now in wireframe mode, select any part of the body you wish to turn into a garment. Since I want a shirt, I'll roughly select the shirt shape. With it selected, let's hit shift D to duplicate the faces and then hit B and separate by selection to turn all of this into its own object. Now tweak this mesh to have it look however you want it to. In my case, I've shortened the sleeve slightly. Obviously, you could go for long sleeves here or decide to do an entirely different garment like a tank top or, you know, even a dress or something. The important part here is that you create something which is fun to you. All right, so now add a subdivision surface to smooth things out, but this may result in some of the original body mesh parts poking through. Now, this is not something that you want because this will mess up how it looks inside of Lens Studio when we go and wear it. So make sure to transform all the vertices of your shirt or whatever garment you've created until none of the original base body mesh is poking through anymore. Now let's give this bad boy a nice design. First, let's unwrap the model. Let's select all of the edges, which are seams on an actual shirt. So for example, I have one running along my arm here and one around the shoulder and etc. So try to copy a real life garment. Now with all of these edges selected, hit control E and mark them as seams. Select all the faces when you're done and hit U unwrap to unwrap your mesh. Next, let's add a material and a design. Open a shader editor and add a material. Select the principled BSDF and hit Ctrl T to automatically add an image texture, mapping and texture coordinate node. Now I've created three basic designs for you guys to use, which you can download completely for free from my Patreon. No need to join, it's free. Just use the link in the description and you can use those to create some cool designs. So in the image texture, open up any of the designs and also up here in the UV editor, make sure to open up the image as well and align the UVs of your shirt to match with the design I've provided. And voila, it's as simple as that. A very basic but effective and great looking shirt perfect for wearing with an AR lens. Obviously, it will be even cooler if you created your own design, be it with Blender's texture painting or any other image editing software. I used Adobe Illustrator for mine, for example, and I would love to see what you guys come up with. Now let's export the shirt as an FBX. Select the shirt and only the shirt and hit Control A and apply all transforms. Go to File, Export, FBX and enable selected objects and apply transform. And with that, we are done and we can now take this into Lens Studio to create our AR filter. Now, first of all, you need to make sure to download Lens Studio to continue. And I've put a link for that in the description and down below as always. So when you're done with that, let's begin by creating a new project in Lens Studio. The workspace that now pops up is actually very easy to understand. The object panel is the same as Blender's outliner and contains all the objects in your Lens project. The resources panel is more or less a project library where your possible assets are stored. The scene gives you a 3D overview of everything going on in your lens. The inspector is similar to the properties panel in Blender, providing details on selected objects and values to change. And the preview is exactly as you expect, a preview. Now let's begin by changing our preview to be a full body shot of someone moving around so we can see how the lens will look in action. You can also use your own recorded footage here by the way, or even use a live camera feed, but that's up to you. 
All right, so let's set up our shirt AR lens. And to do that, we'll need a couple main things. One is obviously the shirt. Two is a body tracker to project the shirt onto our body mesh. Three is an occluder, which is basically a mask which masks out parts where, for example, your hands or arms are moving in front of the shirt. And four is a material. So step one, importing our shirt mesh is actually very simple. Just drag over your FBX file to the resources panel, hit the import, and you're good to go. To optimize your lens a little bit, you can select your FBX mesh for the shirt and change the compression type from uncompressed to Draco. Saint Potter. Okay, so that's step one. Now for the body tracker. Up here in the objects panel, click on the plus icon, type in body in the search bar and add a full body mesh. This will add a body tracker and a body mesh, which you can see here and works with our preview as you will now see a moving body mesh. If you now select the body mesh here, you can see in the inspector which mesh it's displaying. It's displaying the full body mesh, which is fine. And we just need the full body mesh to display the shirt. So in the resources panel, where Lens Studio automatically added a full body mesh asset. Select it and for the external mesh, select your shirt. There's your shirt displayed on the body and following along with its movement. It's probably gonna look a little bit weird. That's because by default, the full body mesh is set to use a T-pose and we used an A-pose for the shirt. So make sure to change that here and everything should look good now. Because I wasn't completely happy with how the shirt looked, I decided to click on the mesh in the objects panel and over here in the render mesh visual in the inspector, disable blend normal just to make sure it uses other normals and also change the external mesh factor to something like a 0.75 which makes it look a little bit better in my opinion but you can tweak these values to get a result that works for you or just leave them alone as it is now for the two final steps adding the occluder and the design the occluder is actually really simple to add select your body tracker in the objects panel click on the plus icon and add a new mesh empty now go to the resources panel and click on the plus icon here and add another full body mesh then click again on the plus icon and add another object called an occluder which is actually not an object but a material now select the occluder empty mesh i renamed mine by hitting f2 with the object selected and for the mesh select the full body mesh occluder then click on material one and set it to be the occluder material and voila it works like magic. You now have a shirt that's being masked by the arms and hands moving in front of it while being tracked to a body. It's pretty awesome, right? Now for the final step, adding a material to the shirt. Since you created a material in Blender and exported it with the FBX, this is actually really, really simple. As a matter of fact, most things in Lens Studio are actually quite simple to do. It's quite a beginner friendly and intuitive program to use. Anyways, select your shirt mesh in the objects panel and click on the material here. There should be a material with a similar name as you gave it in Blender. Select that and it should work. You can also edit the texture by selecting the material in the resources panel down here and changing, for example, the base color. Since my texture is a black and white texture, this works really well. We can just easily change the shirt to any color that we want while maintaining the look of the original design. Alternatively, you can add other textures from the designs I've supplied by just dragging them in your project and changing the image texture used for the shirt material. Or you can simply drag in more FBX designs you made in Blender, like for example, this long sleeve shirt to really make it your own. Lens Studio also provides a bunch of free resources like additional fabric materials, effects, and fun overlays to make your lens your own. If you want to check out your lens in action on your phone, you can send it to Snapchat with this button up here, which works really easily. And when you're completely happy with it, you can publish your lens to share it with the world. Now, like I said, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And that's why I'm challenging you to create your own shirt or other garment and share it with me. You can send me a snap of your lens via Snapchat, or you can export your lens as a video down here and send it to me on the Discord. Submissions are open for two weeks until May 1st and the winner gets a real Kaizen t-shirt designed by me. Oh, and if you want to use the lens that I made for this video as your own Snapchat filter, you can find the link to that in the description. Thanks to all my patrons for supporting the channel and thank you to Snap for sponsoring this video.